so uh, before I uh, start picking up the players uh, uh, here's very important piece of uh, information that uh, I'll be making three wildcard teams and uh, one of them will be focused on defense uh, another will be uh, focused on midfielders and another uh, one will be uh, about the attacking players because uh, whenever I upload a wildcard team uh, video uh, there are uh, comments like that uh, you have to invest more in your midfield or in attack so I decided I'll pick um, three teams that are focused on sp specific positions but although uh, I'll invest majority of my budget in a single position I'll have a balanced team at the end uh, trust me so uh, if you want the team and uh, don't want to wa waste your time watching this video I have given the link below uh, although I'll try to make this video as short as possible so now for my uh, attackers pack I've gone for uh, three premium premium forwards uh, with the um, easiest of fixtures and uh, Aguero's performance uh, has been convincing uh, comparing to Lukaku and uh, Aubameyang uh, but uh, Lukaku had a pretty uh, impressive game week uh, last time out and uh, he could have scored more and I don't know why Lukaku didn't take the penalty um, and come on he was on a hat-trick and uh, well there are uh, the fixtures of Lukaku and uh, uh, these fixtures seem pretty decent to me and as now he's uh, playing every game I think uh, it's safe to say uh, that it's uh, I mean pretty safe to select him although he didn't start the um, first game of the season and uh, I would so love to select the uh, defenders of Manchester United but there's just no certainty in that uh, the United backline so I just can't go for uh, the Manchester United defenders right now so I'm um, just go for Lukaku you won't regret it and uh, as for Aubameyang uh, there's uh, six I think six games uh, where uh, he can make I mean, an impressive impact I mean there are six comparatively easy games I mean come on how can you not at least score in three of those games uh, I don't I don't know what happened to him I don't know if it's the pressure of expectations or uh, he's having some personal issues <coughs> but uh, he's a quality player and I, I do think he will be uh, delivering a lot of points in uh, upcoming six games uh, his, uh, his partnership with Lacazette look pretty good and I think uh, I will be taking out Mkhitaryan soon because uh, he didn't play in last game week and it was pretty surprising to be honest and, uh, and I think uh, you should go for Aubameyang uh, looking at his fixtures in, in upcoming, upcoming game weeks now uh, moving towards the midfield if I start with Mane there's a lot of uh, confusions and debates about whom to select from the Liverpool trio and uh, looking at the points delivered uh, in recent game weeks uh, Mane is certainly a safe choice I guess because uh, in my opinion uh, you at least need one Liverpool attacker from that trio and uh, uh, the price of uh, Salah uh, I think can be used in uh, some other uh, other players uh, I think 13 million is still a lot for a single player but he is one of the most uh, selected player in FPL right now but I do think uh, taking him off taking him off would help you bring uh, other other quality players and uh, get some extra points from those other players uh, rather than just uh, depending upon one player so I do think you should go for Ademani or Firmino and about uh, Ali uh, I selected him because uh, uh, we won't have to worry about rotation of Ali and uh, he's more attacking and is in advanced position mm, than Ericsson and is cheaper uh, I could have gone for Lucas Moura but I just can't uh, I don't feel like he is a long term plan in my FPL team yes I do know that Lucas Moura is uh, delivering a lot of points right now but if you uh, watch the games uh, 
Ali is a pretty smart player. He gets in the positions where he can score, and uh, he's always had a good connection with Ericsson. And I do look at his game, and he's always ready for that kind of tap-ins and those positions. And he's pretty um, a smart player. But uh, so I, uh, looking at this coming up upcoming fixtures of Spurs, uh, I do think Ali will um, get some uh, points. And then Kane needs to start scoring too because uh, he's the main man out there and he's just not getting things right right now and uh, I do hope Sun comes back um, as soon as possible because there will be more balance in the team after that so uh, this is my uh, forward base team and uh, uh, the defense and midfield base team are uh, uh, listed down in the description <coughs> and I will again be uploading a last and final ultimate wildcard team uh, before game week 5 but uh, I want to see uh, how these three wildcard team uh, uh, performs and uh, if there is any disagreement or or any kind of confusion please feel free to uh, comment in the uh, comment section and I'll take care of it uh, in my ultimate wildcard team.